Presented by Caltech. What struck me, as probably all of you, was the, the range of conceptual approaches that have been used in the things we've heard about today. And we, I'm sure we'll see even more of that out on the, in the posters outside. Um, that tells me that the courage to believe in the possibility of making progress in some direction has not been lost. And uh, for all the gloom and doom you read about in the <laughs> literature, uh, that gives me great hope for, for Caltech uh, now and in the, the future. I'm very pleased with that. Um, The, the other thing that uh, struck me was um, not only the, the diversity of approaches, but um, there was some process by which the awardees were chosen, which I don't know about. But um, I know there are people around here that are involved in that. And, and it strikes me that they're doing a very, very good job of selecting really interesting things. Um, and I just want to repeat something that's been implicit in um, the remarks that have been made. Um, in every field I've been associated with in whatever way, there's always been a group think that sort of ossified the field <laughs> to where the, the intellectual exploration was done within this invisible boundary of what was acceptable uh, in the group think, the, the zeitgeist, if you like. And so I've come to believe that the group think is probably the worst enemy of progress. And um, of course, it's been said that science progresses one funeral at a time. <laughs> and uh, uh, and uh, I think that captures the, the nature of group think. And so my advice to the young people here, which which is our future. Um, if you have a big group think, uh, that's probably a place that you can apply a different way of reasoning and make progress. So uh, bless you, do it. Mm -hmm.